Hi everyone, I'm Andrea, and today I want to share some questions that have been running through my mind while trying to find the right hiking shoes. I have a lot of cicadas joining me in this video today for some reason, so I hope you can hear me. There are so many articles and videos out there reviewing and recommending different hiking shoes, hiking boots, trail runners, and as a total newbie to the hiking community, I have become a little bit overwhelmed in trying to find the right hiking shoe for myself. So as I mentioned in my first video, a couple months ago, my husband William and I went to Georgia and we did a 16 mile hike on the Appalachian Trail. And while I was exhausted and wiped out by the end, my feet actually did pretty well. And all I was wearing were these simple New Balance running shoes. So when we got home and we were seriously considering hiking the entire trail, I figured I need to invest in a real pair of hiking shoes for the whole thing. So what we did was we started binge watching these Appalachian Trail through hiker videos on YouTube like it was a game of thrones, <laughs> I swear. We watched everything. And one thing we noticed was that like hiker after hiker after hiker, so many of them are wearing these trail runners called Lone Peaks by Ultra. And they swore by them. So what did I do? I got in my car, I drove to my local REI store. Well, let me tell you about my best friend. And I tried on a pair and oh my Lord, they're so comfortable, everybody. They're, they're amazing. You slip your foot in, the toe box is really wide. Your feet can spread out. They felt great. So I bought a pair. Well, the next day I just, you know, I had been walking eight miles or so every day. And so the next month, the next day, I just walked like a couple miles in my neighborhood in them. And it completely, they tore up my feet. Oh, it felt like every ailment I've ever had was screaming at me all at once. And I'm not new to, I'm new to hiking, but I'm not new to like training for anything. Or I've had decades of like different races. And I did a half Ironman four years ago. And so I've had issues come up, but I've never had anything all hammer me all at once. It was, it was pretty rough and landed me in the podiatrist's office and the chiropractor office anyway. So what I've learned through my little research is that Lone Peaks have what's known as a zero drop design. And what that means is a traditional running shoe has like extra cushion in the heel, which gives it a, an angle, like an eight millimeter drop or a 12 millimeter drop. That's what I'm used to. And then you end up striking the ground walking or running generally, usually with your heel. And I'm a big heel striker. What zero drop design does is it takes away that angle and your foot is essentially flat on the ground. And what my understanding is, the logic behind that design is that it's to mimic what your foot does when it's barefoot, either walking or running. We are not designed to have these casts on our feet, which are like running shoes. Naturally, if you walk barefoot or you run barefoot, what you'll notice is you don't strike with your heel first. You strike with the center of your foot or a little bit more forward. And I think the benefit is that it lessens the impact that it has on your body, on your feet and your legs. So imagine I've been walking like this or running like this my whole life and taking away that angle. I just had a mess on my hands. So one of the things I was wondering is I, I just feel like the zero drop makes sense. Technically, it just seems like it would be better for you. But I don't know how I would get into a pair of zero drop shoes and not tear up my feet, if that makes any sense. Like Ultra, I believe even recommends that you gradually transition into them, which I did not hear about that till after the fact, which is a little regret of mine. And so a big picture, I would like to have that as a goal, but I feel like I have PTSD just thinking about putting my feet into those shoes again. And I am not bashing Lone Peaks, I want to be clear. I love, they seem like wonderful shoes for a lot of reasons. I'm just questioning the zero drop design. I'm wondering about how, how to do that, if that makes any sense. So another thing that we noticed while we were watching these videos is that there were quite a few hikers that we saw that started having difficulty with their Achilles, with their IT band, with plantar fasciitis within like two to three days of their hike. And these guys are like in their 20s. They weren't old ladies like me. They're young kids in my eyes, right? And they had problems right out of the gate. And it seemed like, not everybody, but the ones who had difficulties seemed to attribute their trouble and their pain and injuries 
to the hiking and I couldn't help but wonder, were the difficulties due to the hike or to the zero drop shoes? And I would love to have a discussion with folks. I'm very curious about that, of what you think. I'm open to all ideas. I just want to have a discussion. So that's one of my questions. And then the other question is, should I have that as a goal? Try and work up very slowly, very, 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 very slowly toward a Lone Peak shoe or a zero drop shoe for the big picture. I have a long time to train for this. Is that worth it? Or do I stick with shoes that are working for me and are comfortable right out of the gate? I would love to have a discussion about that. So a side note as well is that my husband, William, works for New Balance, the New Balance shoe company. He is the senior 3D production manager. So he has a really cool job, but an even cooler discount for shoes for us. And so right now I'm hiking in, they're the fresh foam, tra they're trail runners and they're fresh foam heroes. And they're really comfortable. They feel like they have a lot of support and I feel like I get a lot of stability from them. But the one thing is they feel kind of heavy. And I can only imagine when they get soaking wet that they would feel like they weigh a ton. So I would love folks to weigh in on that if you have any opinions on any suggestions. If you can relate to any part of my story or anything that you've done out there, any guidance, I would love to have a nice friendly discussion um, in the comment section. If you have any, just please weigh in. Because I'm new, the only way I can learn is by asking questions you know, and, and learning from other people, their mistakes, their victories. And most videos out there are about advice or experience or recommendations. I'm the opposite. I got nothing. I just have questions. And I think that's the only way I'll get there. So I really appreciate any comments you have or suggestions. So just leave them and we can interact. Thank you. I guess that's it for the day. I hope you have a wonderful day. Dream big and keep sharing. All of you folks out there, you inspire me so much with all of your journeys and your adventures. Thank you for sharing them because you're keeping me going. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.